Thank you, Chair. Uh, dear colleagues, Commissioner, this is the second time this year that here in the Parliament we directly address the issue of gender-based violence. This time we turn our attention on the digital forms that gender-based violence can take. During the past two decades, and especially during the last two years, we all have moved more and more our lives online. The same can be said about violence against women and girls. Technology is evolving fast and the speed of innovation in the online and digital world is incredible. While the speed of innovation brings us amazing new tools that make our life better, it is also providing new tools that facilitate abuse. For example, right now there are stalkerware applications legally available for purchase and use in digital stores. These applications are marketed as parental control software and are intended to monitor the activity of the phone or on other device. The problem is that some of them don't require the monitored person's consent and they don't have any kind of warning or signal that they are operating. So if an aggressor has access to a victim's device for two minutes to install the application, they will have unlimited and undisturbed access to every move of the victim. I think we need to regulate the use of this type of applications and I work to include it in the, into the report. But this is only one example of harmful applications and there are many more applications out there. In the end, it will always be a difficult task to keep up with the new technologies, but that should not stop us from taking steps in addressing the ways that technology can facilitate violence. This will require legislative action like the prosecution and criminalization of gender-based cyber violence and non-legislative actions like protection and support of the victims, improving the process of reporting the crimes, raising awareness for the scale of consequences of the violence, focus on gender equality in education, for the young, younger generation and removing gender stereotypes in the media and improving research of the topic. Once again, we call for EU directive that will include all these points and we're expecting a proposal to, ar to arrive in early 2022 and I'm looking forward for that proposal and I will work to make sure that the directive is in line with high ambitions we set today. Thank you.